What's up, Cancer? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back to do you guys first half of March Terrascope Love Reading. Guys, unfortunately, I recorded y'all whole video, and it just, half of it just disappeared. Only six minutes of it was here, so I'm like, it's no sense in me trying to splice together what I already thought was done, you know? So I'm gonna just start over for you guys. Maybe it was meant for me to convey a different message. Oh my gosh. They want to fly everywhere. All right, spirit. <clears throat> Let's. First of all, if you guys haven't subscribed to the tribe, what are you guys waiting on? Please go ahead and do so by hitting that subscribe button and clicking that bell so you can be notified every time I post another video. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below. And I'm going to let you guys know that energy and time is fluid. If I am describing an energy that most prominently sounds like it belongs to somebody else, just switch the energies around. Because nine times out of ten, you could be picking up your cross watcher's energy, which is okay because it's okay to know things from different perspectives. Um, this can be old energy for you guys. You guys could be right in the thick of this, or it can be future predictions for you all. Either way, it's meant to uncover something or provide some type of insight about a situation that you didn't know or you was missing details to or give confirmation or a warning or a heads up. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Let's hop straight into your video, especially since this is my second attempt. Okay, spirit, as it pertains to the astrological sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, a leg up here. So you definitely could have a friend coming in to help you at this time. I do view polar bears as protection. So you could be getting help from a parent, help from a friend, but somebody is around just in time to help your luck change, okay? You could be you could have been on a long journey by yourself, finding yourself, self-discovery, figuring out your worth. So either somebody is here to help you do that cancer or you're here, you've shown up newly in somebody else's life as protection, a healer, um and to help them discover their worth here set them off on their path to discovery and and just you know changing their mind about themselves yeah divine timing is definitely at play at play here then we have yin energy the energy of sitting back and receiving here at this time we got the car happy happy at the bottom of the deck which definitely speaks to um the end of this cycle leading to happiness leading to a sense of divinity or somebody stepping into their divinity here, okay? Helping somebody find themselves at an all-time high. I'm not going to get that many cards for each card because this one got an extra card today. Normally, I only take three of these oracles. Gosh, got some jumpers. All right, so what do we have here? Five of Cups, all right. So somebody is the five of cups and the tower. Wow. So somebody is experiencing emotional loss here after an abrupt ending is what I'm saying. And so you could have family members or friends helping you at this time to kind of get a leg up and kind of move on from this situation where you may not have been valued to the highest degree as you should. Why is the a leg up here for cancer? Sun, moon, rising in Venus. Ooh, we got the eight of wands in reverse so there is a lack of action maybe somebody is trying to help you out financially because we got the king of pentacles here so somebody could be helping you after a downfall you know um this tower could be anything a abrupt job loss an abrupt house loss um an abrupt ending of a relationship but it seems as though somebody is here to kind of save the day on a situation where you might not have had the means to take action we got the seven of cups here somebody is definitely providing you with options like i said maybe even financial options here so looks like you're thinking about whether you want to take them up on their offer why is the treasure island here for cancer sun moon rising and venus for the first half of March 2020 spirit. The strength in reverse. Look, you taking them up on a offer here. The page of swords here. And then not look. And it puts you at a place of emotional fulfillment. So here you go from being in a, a period of lack 
to fulfillment or it's kind of backwards but you going from a period of lack to a period of fulfillment like okay everything is looking up but i definitely feel like it was because of an opportunity um of help that somebody provided for you all right I'm hearing things are getting ready to come reveal. Somebody is coming forth to tell you some type of truth. Uh, Eight of Cups. This is the truth about why somebody walked away here. That's what I'm getting. So maybe the person that did walk away from you and that wasn't showing you the proper attention, which could have been this King of Pentacles, is coming back. To actually offer you marriage and stability because I'm getting a hierophant and I'm also getting the ace of coins here. Why is the yen here? You know what? I'm definitely feeling like that, okay? What's so crazy? All right, so in this situation, I definitely feel like there was an abrupt ending of some sort and somebody really made a U turn and brought themselves right back. So for a period of time, possibly eight months or longer, there was blocked communication, no action, and now here comes someone. Somebody that wants to offer some type of stability, some type of um, support, some type of practical offer. Seven of Cups, they give you some type of option. And you had to think about it here. And maybe it's because this person left you behind before. Maybe they gave in to temptation is what I'm seeing with the strength in reverse here. With the Treasure Island, um, there's a possibility that somebody viewed something as much more valuable than what it really was. This is that classic case of feeling like the grass is greener on the other side and finding out that it isn't and coming back. All right? Yeah. Because right with these two above each other, it's like there's definitely a sense of somebody moving in a direction where something seemed more satisfactory. But when we get the Seven of Cups, that speaks to illusion a lot of times. All right. So let's see. Where is the Seven of Cups at? Here again? Because I know I saw that. Seven of Cups. Somebody sitting here with choices, not knowing which to pick. Because you don't know what's in them cups. You know? And this here is our also providing illusion because it's like, in order to get to what you want, you have, you have to... Do something dangerous to get to what you want. And somebody is feeling like it's worth it to cross this snake to get to this woman. So there is a sense of somebody feeling like it was worth it to resist. I mean, to give in to temptation, to move towards something that seemed much more satisfying than what they had. They walked away here. With this eight of cups, there was a sense of somebody walking away here. Maybe even offering marriage in a different direction. And the secret is definitely out about somebody's non-commitment to an empress energy. There's a lack of commitment here with the king of wands in reverse and the empress in reverse. So it's definitely somebody like leaving something behind and moving towards something else. So we'll see if it stays that way. Because with the yin here, that speaks to me being in feminine energy and allowing somebody to take action towards you. So, let's see. Let's get some more energy for cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody is retracting the love offer here with the Knight of Cups in reverse. We got the Nine of Swords in reverse. We got the Queen of Wands, so that could be the temptation that's being moved towards because, of course, the Queen of Wands can be the other woman or a temptation of some sort. Somebody is hiding this, or they saving money to move towards this person. 
is what I'm getting here. All right? Because they want to build a legacy with this person. So, like I said, there could have been somebody that was tempting in the mix. And we have the King of Swords in reverse. So, that speaks... I don't know. The King of Swords in reverse is not a good energy to me, Cancer. Um, you could be the Queen of Wands. You could be the male that's leaving one situation to go towards something that's just tempting to them. Yeah. Yeah, the devil energy is here in reverse. Let's see. Justice in reverse, divorce. Divorce is here. So there's a sense of divorce happening, money being saved. To move towards something that somebody wants a long term stable offer with. This can be viewed as an injustice by others, you know? The Three of Cups. This is definitely a third party situation. I was getting it. Even without any other threes. We just got the devil here. We got the king of wands here. And we got the temptress up in the house. Like, what the hell? Ooh, yeah. Seven of coins in reverse. Somebody is viewing something as a waste of time. So maybe the current relationship they were in and wanting to move towards this lover's energy. So when a lover shows up, that's definitely a sense of somebody picking between two lovers to me. And so again, as I was speaking before, somebody is not standing in their truth with the king of swords in reverse. Somebody is kind of lying and sneaking and creeping and acting as if everything is okay. But we got the hierophant here. There's a sense of marriage, getting a divorce, breaking up with somebody. It could be like two people can, this can be a quiet situation. One of the people can be married and the other person can be in a relationship here. And we got the high priestess here, which also speaks to secrets and mistresses. So I definitely feel like in this situation here, that is definitely two people that's either breaking up, one person that's breaking up, one person that's going through a divorce, and two people coming together. Why is the page of cups in reverse here, spirit? Why is the page of cups here in reverse? Yeah, something is being... Something is ending here. With the Page of Cups in reverse, that's like a with track of a love offer here. Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse? Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse? Yeah. Whoo, somebody is just getting over a situation and protecting like a new situation. There's a sense of this could have definitely been an online affair. And I feel like somebody want to take it to the next level. Like somebody is getting a divorce. Somebody is um, um, getting a divorce and someone is breaking up out of a relationship. And these two people are saving money to move in together. Yeah, and quickly too. They feel like this is the right thing to do. So Cancer, I don't know if you're on the outside or the inside of this, but there's a sense of clarity some people kind of figured out, two people kind of figured out that they soulmates. And I feel like it's the two people, two people are one person is in a marriage and the other in a relationship. Why is the king of swords in reverse here? Somebody is leaving behind. Yeah. A, a mature female is getting a divorce here. Family room in reverse. A Capricorn definitely could be involved here. Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Leo. Why is the Justice card here in reverse? Pisces. Justice card is here in reverse. Somebody else's happiness is viewed as unfairness to someone else. Why is the Three of Cups here? Because of, and that's the reason why, because of the Three of Cups. So, somebody else's happiness is caused. Why is the lover's card here, spirit? Why is the lover's card here, spirit? Yeah. With the owls here, 
there's a sense of two people that feel deeply connected on a spiritual Dang. there's two people that feel deeply connected on a spiritual level this is a mental connection as well as a spiritual connection especially when you can see ancestors kind of reigning over something bringing two people together and you can see like the blank stare in their face like this is a twin flame connection here so you could be breaking up with a soulmate and moving towards a twin flame cancer or somebody could be doing this to you why is the hierophant here it's definitely marriage on the horizon here yeah lucky we got the four leaf clover yeah somebody is feeling fortunate and I'm getting that, Maxwell. Fortunate to have you, girl. I'm so proud you're in my world. Just as sure as the skies are blue, I'm blessed the day that I found you. <clears throat> Why is the two of cups here in reverse? Why is the two of cups here in reverse, spirit? Okay, that was too many, y'all. Sorry. Two of Cups in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse, spirit. Spirit, like, you know that's the breakup of one thing going towards something else. Yeah, I do, but I want, to, I want a little bit of confirmation. Why is the Two of Cups here in reverse? Yeah. What was this? Concern. So, yeah, that's the problem. Somebody very happy to be moving towards something that they've been having to keep a secret. There's a sense of something coming, something happening in the dark coming to light here. And that's definitely a new beginning and a soulmate connection that somebody feels deeply connected to. Um, so, I'm definitely getting that here, you know. And all the signs I name can be involved or some of them. And since this can be for other people, definitely, but... Ooh. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get some additional advice for you guys. advice for cancer sun moon rising in venus oh gosh this is way too many let's see let me concentrate all right spirit additional advice for cancer purity yep you need to cleanse your space cancer and i don't know if you clearing your space of the person that's being deceptive because you can be the person that's experiencing this deception or this betrayal or somebody leaving you behind for somebody else but you very well can also be the person that's leaving somebody behind so if you leaving behind somebody toxic and you know purifying your space so that you can move in something more harmonious you know practicing self-love here cancer i do feel like it's a possibility you could be the one that's getting left behind here because maybe you have to clear out the negative energy and the negative taste in your mouth that's left from love love yourself and find something that's more balanced because i'm getting a six here on the card all right let's see one more for cancer sun moon rising and venus assessing yes time to start looking more deeply at situations here because i feel like at surface level, whatever you were in, it definitely was looking, you were viewing this as long-term stability. And so that could be why you have to recover from this and clear your space because essentially you feel deceived by this person, which is not leaving a great taste in your mouth at all, okay? So I hope this reading helped. If it resonated, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Ciao.